boys and girls, we are at a truck day. Yes, finally, after over a year actually, it's been over a year since uh, my car broke down over at the Autobahn. And today we are at Gingerman in Michigan. And it is 7.30 a.m. over here. And it's 35 degrees and it's wet, but it's supposed to be 48, a high of 48 and it's not supposed to rain anymore so um, it may take a session maybe less for the track to dry up and there's a few cars coming got a lot of friends over here too and it's and it's still dark this is funny let me show you the track is somewhere there i actually been to this track once before which was about I'd say maybe 12 years ago, so a while. I still kind of remember the track, but it's, it, it's, it's probably gonna come back to me quick. All right, see you in the daylight. All right, guys, about to get going. It's 46 degrees, going through a quick inspection, and it's the first session. This is what I got at the uh, the first uh, check-in. Oh, that just says you paid to get here. Uh, what do you need from me then? When you get back in, okay. visit the eight and a half building and get a run group band. Okay, got it. It'll be like a multicolored confetti looking band. Okay, cool. I'm Good.
right guys so that was a the track is wet as you saw as soon as I, I came close to the throttle just going sideways and braking I mean and I, I don't know the track I mean 12 years ago you know it's been a while anyways let's let's see some cars so this is the parking lot all the way there a lot of cars there but let's see what uh, what's over here timing belt or chain job
guys, this is after uh, one session. The driver's side cylinder head catch can is, is full. Check this out. This is full. And it actually started coming out, this filter. And I have a little bit of oil right there dripping clearly there's a problem happened
nothing's broken. Well, these clips, I'm sure, are broken. I'm gonna try and pop this back in. All right, guys, not sure what happened. Uh, maybe I pushed it too far. I mean, I went sideways plenty of times, but uh, never so quickly. I don't know. So this is what it looks like now. Like it never happened. Uh, now we're having a break. I'm gonna go out uh, next ses session and take it easy, see what's what. Maybe my diff locked up, that's what I'm thinking. And it was weird, uh, once I came uh, back onto the track and I was taking that uh, first or the last right, the second last right before the straightaway, it, uh, it got very, very slippery on me. I wasn't even on the throttle and just went sideways and uh, so I'm thinking two options maybe because the front left and rear left tires were still covered with sand you know muddy uh, and or or both uh, the rear diff is like up. there's something maybe going on or I can't hear can't hear it uh, knocking or anything uh, seems to uh, be f just fine I don't know we'll see
because as you saw these guys are crazy they're pretty good with what I'm saying and I got a problem there's a lot of oil right in this area over here I already cleaned this up this catch can was full again only this one this one a tiny bit maybe a quarter on the bottom so same thing with this one dripping oil you know it's coming from this filter I, I would love to connect the hose do another can over here just so I can have a, a bigger capacity everybody here says that it's normal it probably is it is I am running what 55 percent e85 or ethanol I should say and uh, but it's weird to me that it's only this catch can that's catching all the oil or the ethanol uh, not the, the others that's 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 weird to me anyways I'm gonna give it a rest this is the fifth run right now these guys are lining up I'm gonna record some some cars uh, going by I'm gonna find a different uh, location We got an accident. Clean up this debris. I guess nobody cares.
Look at this guy, the, the Mustang. I didn't even see this. out of the car they got help coming all right they stopped everybody red flag so two accidents in one day ouch can't locate the Corvette. So the Corvette and the Mustang. Got a little quiet all of a sudden. Okay guys, it's over. They cut the day short because of the accident and uh, it's still out there. They're gonna tow it later. So we had five runs instead of six. I could not locate the red Corvette. Anyways, I'm waiting on my buddies here to uh, pack up and going back home. All right, guys, next day, back at the garage. Now, the issue, the oil issue, the overfilling of the catch can, like I said, not sure why, but uh, let me show you uh, how oily it is. So it wasn't just basically overfilling and coming out this filter and coming down this way. And it got as far as, well, it got as far as onto the track, you know, dripping here and there. That's why I did not go, uh, was it what, the fifth session, which I was going to go again on the last and the sixth session, but they canceled it because of the accident and uh during the break or the cleanup i actually went and filled it up with 93 and i wanted to see if i'm going to have the the same effect but that didn't happen anyways you can see how the, you know everything that's shiny to you that's covered with oil down all the way down to the frame down there so and you can see there on those rubber pipes there decided not to go on the track and that's the session where the red corvette crashed and then the mustang and i was lucky as you saw i lost it it was quick too it was uh turn six i i don't remember anyways uh usually it's 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 kind of easy to come out of these slides in an all-wheel drive car, but this time it was just, it was quick. It was almost as if uh, the rear diff locked up, but I think I know what the problem was. And on my way back home, it started, uh, it was a bunch of us coming back, and, uh, you know, we did uh, do a pull once, just once, uh, against the uh, the blue... 05 Subaru just to see the power difference and I think it was in fourth gear and the car was my car was just going trying to go sideways going straight and I'm gonna raise this car up and I'm gonna show you why see this brand new lower ball joint all nice and shiny this one is not so shiny I replaced this ball joint. I had a little bit of play two days before the track and I didn't bother with alignment. It drove straight. The steering wheel is uh, tilted slightly to the left. Uh, so it did not have any effect uh, going slow, you know, 40, 50, whatever. But that's why this car was pretty much dancing, uh, especially braking too. And these air ducts, I gotta say, these are holding up just just fine. Nothing is going on bad. 
with those. Got a little drip on the filter. Not tight enough probably. And yeah, these tires are old, man. These tires are 10 years old, I think. You can see actually now how this tire is wearing out differently. See, here this light. You can see right here, it's taking off a bit more rubber off this part here. Then here, see how clean this is? All the tire. Not this side here. It's like this part is got its ass whooped a bit more. So, yeah. So, just from looking, you know, when the car sits down, just from looking up to the on the bottom of it, like this, like so, and trying to compare, uh, you basically you're looking for toe in, toe out. It looks to me like just eyeballing it that it's toe out. This this wheel is out this way a tidy more so what i intend to do i'm gonna somehow measure the distance between the two tires from here to the other wheel and from here to here see what the difference is and adjust this uh toe adjustment right here everything else is good besides the alignment you know old tires these are the Bridgestone Potenza 050, RE050. So that's probably why on the, the, the very the first and second session uh, my braking was just off. I was just going sideways. Uh, couldn't couldn't uh, wasn't wasn't stable enough to to push the car. Uh, later on when I when it got dry, third and fourth session it uh, was a little better, but then I lost it. Uh, the bumper came out that just popped right in I still have I, I gotta clean this car it's 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 filthy on the inside I, I still got dirt on the inside from the spin but like I said I was lucky um, the other guys weren't the Corvette I just as I was filming during the fourth session that was that was my group going around the red Corvette coming out of turn 11 the last turn after after that uh, straightaway just lost it coming out span hit the guardrail on the left and he probably should have parked it he instead he he lost parts right there i was i was trying to have the people i talked to some of the people that uh, if they just out of curiosity if they saw me waving half of them did half of them didn't you know it's tunnel vision for you um, but yeah, I was trying, I was standing right there for the whole time and, uh, you know, trying to make sure nobody hit that uh, plastic part. So I'm glad nobody hit it, actually. Um, then the Corvette went around. Well, he couldn't exit the course because he just passed turn 11. That's when you exit. And uh, so he kept going around and he lost more parts on another straightaway kind of, well it's not a straightaway but uh, it's it is kind of a straight with the left turn it's an incline it's uh, you can't really see what's over on the other side of the track as you're going uh, kind of a little bit it's uh, it's kind of scary you gotta you know have some balls to uh if you want to go through there uh fast so i think it was a aluminum pipe that the corvette lost after that I think he parked it somewhere on the grass because I did not see the Corvette on the parking lot anywhere. And somebody told me that he saw the Corvette somewhere. I never went out again, so I didn't see. So as they were on turn five, that fast left, the Mustang got a wave, an okay from somebody in front to pass him. He started to pass him. That's when he saw that metal pipe, something, something big, shiny probably. He saw it on the track, tried to avoid it, put two wheels on the grass and just just went. His whole right side of the car just destroyed, just smashed all of it. Airbags went off. Uh, the front left also was destroyed, probably totaled. I talked to the guy. He's okay. He hurt his left knee just a little bit. Nothing serious. And that's it. You know, we do have safe cars. 
nowadays, uh, straight out of the factory. But I should be driving around with uh, a harness and some kind of a racing seat. I plan to do that sooner or later. Now, I do have pictures of the Mustang. I was going to show them, but out of respect for the guy, I'm not going to. But me not going out there during the fourth session got some great footage of the cars just flying. I mean, these guys in advanced, they're good. I should have went maybe to intermediate uh, high level because there were, there were two levels of intermediate. You know, I was there once uh, way long, long time ago. Didn't remember the track and, you know, out of alignment, being out of alignment, it's not great. And I was just checking play on both front wheels. I got no play in the front right. I had play there from the ball joint before. Now I do have play in this one, going, moving, grabbing the wheel, the tire here and here with, with two hands and moving it back and forth. And I have, I think I have play on the wheel bearing. So now I got to replace the, the wheel hub. It's on four bolts. If you want me to make a video on it, let me know in the comments. This left side wheel was also moving as I was cornering, cornering or braking slightly back and forth. Something to do. Yay. All right, guys, I think what I'm going to do now is obviously replace that wheel hub, do an alignment, clean it, quite possibly install a racing seat and some harness. Maybe some camera mounts as well, here and there. And I would love to do a, not nothing big, some kind of a splitter in the front, removable, so I can actually take it with me to the track and install it on the track and maybe a diffuser in the back. Because this factory one is uh, probably not doing much. Oh yeah, and the oil catch can issue. The easiest way to go around that is just to install a bigger catch can or an extra one run it. I was actually walking around the, the track asking people for a uh, 3 8 hose rubber hose so I can connect and then some kind of a bottle anything and uh, run a hose from that filter from the oil catch can and run it to that extra bottle just add some capacity but nobody had a hose like that so yeah all right guys hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe like the video if you did dislike the video if you didn't and i'll see you soon